you are a holder of a little pudgy, which every time I look at it, it looks like it's gone up. Now it's 1.23, which is crazy. Yeah. So uh, talking about pudgies, pudgies just ripping, 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 ripping. Where do you want to start with this? Oh, man. Um, you know what? Let's start at the beginning. Like Pudgy launched in July 2021. Uh, it was a collection of 8,888. Yeah, um, they sold out within 19 minutes of his release. Did you Crazy. know that? Did you know that or no? No, I didn't know it was that quick. I mean, that's you know yeah. significantly faster than almost every other project. You know, even Board Ape took a couple of months, I think, to sell out. Yeah, I think that I think that there was a lot of hype with Pudgies though, because there was so much stuff out there already be between like the gifs and stuff like that. So yeah, I think there was already a lot of buzz, and people were just waiting for. It. And you know what? I wish that I would have gotten one when when within those 19 minutes that it came out <laughs> i know what a grab huh but anyway so they launched on the ethereum blockchain <clears throat> they experienced rapid success with its initial minting in october 21 a portion of the project's profits were donated to animal welfare and environmental co conservation organizations so they actually did some pretty cool stuff with philanthropy um but then we took a turn in 22 there was uh, the founders controversy that we spoke about a few times. Yeah. Um, the original founders were removed in January 2022 following community dissatisfaction, leading to the acquisition of the brand by entrepreneur Luca Schnetzler. Maybe I'm butchering his Luca last Nets. name. We'll just go with Nets. Yeah. So anyway, uh, in April 2022, for 750 ETH, he bought Pudgies, which is 2.5 million. Damn, I should have bought Pudgies. You yeah. felt, Kevin. You should have told me to buy pudgies. <laughs> yeah, forget the ants. We're going pudgies. Anyway, so expansion into physical products in 20, May 23, Pudgy Penguins introduced children toys, um, achieving significant success on Amazon and expanding into over 2,000 Walmart stores, which I racked up. I know you, can, you did. Actually, you can see them behind me. There's a whole bunch of them back there. And then I have, I have this little guys right here. Yeah. Yeah. Very cute. Look at that. Yeah, a little rare one there. Yeah, I got two rare ones right in front of me. Don't hate Kevin because you didn't get any rare ones. I didn't get any rare ones, but I do have some. But also after learning what's been happening this last week, I'm like, I probably should have kept some not, you know, I should have kept some sealed instead of ripping them all open. Oh, dude, I have a whole box of sealed ones. That's what I think I might grab a few more. <laughs> anyway, <Yeah>. keep going. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Uh, holders of Pudgy Penguins NFTs enjoy various benefits, including participation in real-world events, receiving complementary secondary NFTs, and having access to a range of utilities and metaverse integrations. Anyway, the project has generated significant revenue through royalty fees from NFT trading, activities, and the sales of traditional products like toys and clothing. Despite a bear market trend affecting most blue chips NFTs, Pudgy Penguins has maintained its value and provided gains to holders in 2022. What is the future for Pudgies? Uh, the project supports the creation of sub communities or clans, which have varied in terms of collection types, locations, topics, trades, and creators. Assuming the market cap during the next bull season aligns with other blue chip projects at their all time high, significant price profits are expected to Pudgy Penguins NFTs. Crazy. So, in conclusion, I think that Pudgies is still going to continue to skyrocket. There's a lot of plans for them, and I think yeah. we're doing the right thing. I think that he is a magician at what he's doing with Pudgies. Because remember, after after that whole thing with with the founders, like nobody wanted to get into Pudgies again. Like everybody was like, ah, it's just gonna be. They're just gonna pull out. Nothing's gonna happen. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, a boom! A lot of fun at the time. Yeah, Luca took over, and he like completely turned a company around twenty four seven. And Luca's a young guy, dude. Like. He is, and he has history be before this yeah, uh, as a yeah. successful entrepreneur. So this is, yeah. you know, uh, I'm sure this is the biggest, I think this is the biggest one he's done. And um, it's just really impressive what him and his team have done there. Yeah, for sure. I mean, the, the guy's a mastermind with Pudgies. And he's doing definitely the right thing. Um, you know, Pudgy, you know, huh? Yeah, sorry, go ahead. So they, they announced uh, a development called Pudgy World. Yeah. Um, it's a Web3 game powered by the Ethereum Layer 2 network uh, with um, CK Sync era. And, you know, I think that 
what's going to happen is that this is definitely going to push NFTs into the next step of gaming, especially Pudgies being so widely known. Right. You know, you know what I like about uh, their team is that they're doing things in sequence correctly. Like the timelines that they're using are perfect. Yeah, I they're, totally agree with that. They're they're you know luring kids in into into Pudgies with the toys and stuff, and you know onboarding so many people into their world. And now they're they're bringing this this Web three uh, uh, NFT game uh, in combination with zk Sync. So. Anyway, the connection between Pudgy Penguins and CK Sync is particularly significant. CK Sync was chosen as the underlying technology for Pudgy World for its trustless, secure, and scalable blockchain technology. This technology allows for seamless interaction with notable IP and big brands building on CK Sync, facilitating future collaborations. The, the utilization of CK Sync zero knowledge technology is aimed at unlocking new business models and gaming experiences mirroring the gaming industry shift to mobile games. So they, they're going to go into mobile games. I think that they're going to kill it. Dude. Yeah. Yeah. You know, when you when we first open those pudgy toys, you get a QR code, and it yeah. takes you into, like, the very first step of that digital world. Like, it brings you to the door. And, you know, basically, it's coming soon to be able to enter that. And so when I saw, you know, this announcement or this, this promo ad that dropped this week, um, at Art Basel in Miami, it kind of made sense. Like, oh, this is where they're going, right? And it seems, like you said, they're kind of, they're setting it up and then they're delivering it. They're setting up and then they deliver and they set up and then they deliver. So yeah, it's really, really impressive. Um, I hadn't heard of this uh, ZK Sync before because it's not in my wheelhouse, but, you know, even just landing on their Twitter and saying, oh, they have 1.3 million followers. Like yeah. they're they're obviously well-established for, for being oh, yeah. as niched as they are. Uh, so they're clearly legitimate and and i'm glad to see that pudgy is working with uh such a, a well-established company yeah, you know what's cool about product. pudgy is that they're they're so aligned with like you know onboarding people that are onboarding the audience that doesn't know anything about web3 or nfts like right and they're seamlessly doing it like people don't consciously understand that hey this is this is an nft like when they're holding a, a pudgy you know what right. i mean a hundred percent, a hundred percent. I still see the gifts uh, getting floated around as like, you do know what this is, right? And of course they don't. Um, yeah. So when you look at the floor price, the floor price is now 12.3. Uh, this is plus 128% in the last 30 days. What do you think is causing that, that surge that we've seen just in the last week, even? Um, there was there was a collaboration with uh, Nounstow. Okay. Uh, so when they did that collaboration, it soared like thirty five percent in just yeah. one day. I think I saw an article here right? um, on the OpenSea blog. Uh, Pudgy Penguins announced DAO drop uh, mm -hmm. drop date announced. So yeah, they're they're teaming up with with other you know blue chip and uh, well known NFT, projects. Yeah. So uh, the moment that they announced that, like it just skyrocketed thirty five percent on the same day. Crazy, crazy, yeah. crazy, crazy. Yeah, and then. Like we said, there was an announcement with the ZK Sync at this week's uh, Art Basel Art Basel conference, and they had a bunch of other promotional. They had a, a ninety second, basically commercial uh, ad teaser for this game come out, uh -huh. which we won't play here. Maybe we can put in the link, but it looks so good, right? Like the quality of that video just looks so good. Yeah, and you're yeah. like, yes, this is a real product with a real team behind it, and something big is coming. You know. What I like about them too is that they take care of their community. Like, even I, ha even me that I have a little pudgy, not one of the big ones. Yeah, I still get. I'm. I like. I showed you earlier today. They send me like a whole bunch of other NFTs, like the eggs and stuff that they have. Like they sent out. Um, so I mean, they're really interacting with with the community like heavily. Yeah, yeah. and. I, I had seen something else. I'd seen another collection besides the little pudgy. I saw pudgy rods. Is that what they're called? Pudgy rods. Yeah, but pudgy rods was an old um, thing that they were doing back in like 2021 20, or something like that. But the price is climbing. What, do you know what is it used for something right now? Um, they're still doing it. It's just, it was a collection of like 7,000 unique NFTs that um, it, it was like, <laughs> it was like, like rods for fishing. Yeah, that's it. I'm, yeah. I was thinking it'll have some utility in the game, 
given you know the nature of the game so maybe that's why people or maybe people are just speculating over what this is for yeah but to say it's you know 0.7 eth now only one percent listed uh yeah. out of 12 uh sorry how many items are there there's so they're, seven they're worth items. like 12 million dollars just a rot yeah it's crazy it's crazy and these things yeah. if you look at the activity uh i mean they're selling look how many are, are being sold here in i know i'm about minutes. to buy one now that you mention it <laughs> So I, I but no, I, I have I have the the eggs, so I think they come within the eggs. Once they the eggs are revealed, like I'll, the, I'll get the rod. So yeah, if uh, if you're watching or listening to this and you know what the rods are for, let us know. I'm curious. I'm curious what the rods for. <laughs> yeah, let us know. Yeah, and you bought into your little pudgy at like what point two or something six months. I ago? I remember. Yeah, um, a few months ago. Yeah, I'm making a killing of it now. Yeah, I know you're not going to sell it, so it's not. Even, it doesn't yeah. even matter what the price is because you're not going to sell. Doesn't matter. Would you consider buying another one? Yes. Yeah. Do you think there's still room for price go up? Dot ETH um, on this NFT? Absolutely. <laughs> on the little pudgies, yeah. You yeah. know what it is with the little pudgies is that little pudgies the collection was much bigger, twenty two thousand. Yeah, it's a huge amount. Yeah. So the price point for for the little pudgies was so crazy that low that. People were just racking up on little pudgies. So the 22,000, that's not, it's really not a lot anymore. You're right. And uh, there's 35% unique owners. So, yeah. you know, each individual owns a bunch, right? Maybe three a piece or something, you know, on average yeah. like that. And only 3% listed. So people are holding on to these. And like I said, the price goes up every time I look over the past 40 to 72 hours. Yeah, it was funny because they keep they kept making me offers um, even <laughs> on Twitter that. for the little pudgy and and I got mad and I was like I'm not selling my little pudgy unless somebody offers me a million dollars. They offer a million, I'll, I'll give it to them. That's fine. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why somebody would do that unless they really wanted yours specifically. Well, mine specifically it's pretty cool. Let All me right. tell I don't you. know if it's a million dollar cool, but yeah, it's cool. Go, go to mine and look at the attributes. Give me the number again. Ah, you suck. Hold on. All right, give me some traits. You got a yellow background. Yellow background, yeah. Hold on. Okay. I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you the number. Yeah, give me a number. Here, let me sign on to my wallet. Hold on. My secret yeah. wallet. You got a yellow background. What else we got on this? Give me some other traits. You got a number. What number is the jersey? Calm down. Calm down. I want to see if I can find it. Sixteen thousand zero seventy seven. Hey, we found you. That's my little guy. Can I favorite like this? My son. Thing? Can you like my little it? son. Make a deal. <laughs> my favorite? I oh, I can heart it. Okay, yeah. Favorite it. So you think your little pudgy, $1 million. Yeah, I got a whole bunch of 1%, 2% attributes. Let me see. What was it? Yeah, we got 1% basketball, 2% reading, and 2%, 2 beanie, black. and 4% purple skin. Yeah. Beanie is good. It's a good beanie. That's like a good beanie to have in real life. 2% of 22,000 pudgies is pretty good. 1%. What is is What's the number? Good. What's the math? 20? <coughs> yeah, it's about 22. 20, 23. I don't know. Times 0.02. No. 400? 440? Did we? Oh, what did you do? Yeah, 22. Yeah, yeah, it's right. Yeah. Yeah pretty good so yeah they they want it million dollars <laughs> all right y'all heard owned, it. You see that owned by rebel ants llc boom this is your chance yeah very cool and uh good what else anything else with with pudgies worth sharing um what else did we talk about with pudgies pudgy penguins reveal pudgy world we talked about that and pudgy penguins to launch webkins like virtual world you had that on there yeah let's see virtual um, world in 2024 yeah um let's see if there was anything else i'm looking at an article here from coindesk.com titled pudgy penguins to launch webkins like virtual world in 2024 and look at this guy. the same stuff that we talked about yeah look at that one yeah i got one too behind me but i'll spare you the back of my head for that you're just a hater i'm not a hater i'm just jealous <laughs> 